Hi students, in this video 13.1 we are doing the question discussed in 30, video 30 by auxiliary projection method. Auxiliary projection method, the same problem discussed in video 13. What is it? It's a cube resting on HP on a corner with the solid diagonal parallel to HP and 40 degrees to VP. I draw the same simple position, same simple position, all lateral faces of the cube equally inclined to VP. Simple position. Then draw an x1 y1. I draw an x1 y1 through c dash and in such a way that x1 y1 is parallel to a dash t dash which is the solid diagonal. So This is x1 y1. x1 y1. I repeat. How is x1 y1 drawn? x1 y1 is drawn parallel to a dash t dash passing through c dash. Now what? Draw an auxiliary plan. How do you draw an auxiliary plan? Draw projectors perpendicular to x1 by 1 through all these points. Take the distance of the plan points from x, y and mark on the respective projector. C, G, A and E are this much below. So on the projector through C dash you will get G1 and G dash you will get G1. On the projector through E dash you will get E1. On the projector through A dash you will get A1. On the projector through C dash you will get C1. Okay. Now, D and H are this much below. On the projector through D dash you will get D1 and here H1. Then, F and B on the projector through B dash you will get B1 and F dash will get F1. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1. Now you are looking in this direction. You are looking in this direction. Which square face will be seen? ABC, ABCD or EFGH? EFGH is exposed. You will see that. We will make EFGH form. E, F, G, H. Then, this edge is from, this 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 is dotted, this is dotted, and this is dotted. You can see, E, F, G, H is from, A, B, C, D, out of A, B, C, D, the corner C, which is on the ground, is not visible when you look at the top, and the three lines from C, C1, G1, C1, B1 and C1, D1 are invisible. Where is the solid diagonal? The solid diagonal is AG, A1, G1. This is the solid diagonal which we are interested in, A1, G1. It's parallel to X1, Y1, C. So, A1, G1 is the plan, A dash, E dash is the elevation, it's parallel to X1, Y1. That means the solid diagonal AG now is parallel to both planes. Now, extend it, extend A1, G1. At what degrees? 40 degrees. Draw x2, y2. So x2, y2 is drawn. x2, y2 is drawn at 40 degrees to the extension of a1, g1. Then draw a new elevation. How do you do that? Draw projectors through all points in the plan perpendicular to x1, y1.
all projectors are drawn all projectors are drawn c dash is zero distance so this is c1 dash or rather okay c1 dash change the color c1 dash c1 dash b dash and d dash are this far away so on the projector through b b1 dash on the projector through d d1 dash a dash is this far away on the projector through a a1 dash on the projector through g this much g g1 dash f dash and h dash this much f f1 dash h h1 dash so a where is it? A, B, C, D. Where is C? E. This far away, that's the largest distance. E1. You have got all the points. Now in this, this direction you look. The base ABCD is exposed. You will see that. A E D H A E A E D H will be visible. A E D H will be visible. Then what? B F E F will be invisible. The corner G is not visible. Dotted. Dotted, dotted. The corner G, the corner G, which is nearer to VP, nearest to the VP is invisible. So the three lines from G will be invisible. Uh, dotted, GH, GF, and the GC. All other edges will be visible. I have marked all the visible edges with the dark lines. As it is drawn. Just the proportions, there can be slight differences when you draw these two actual dimensions. So, this is a very quick method compared to redrawing method. This can be drawn in 15 minutes, I say. Only 8 points, 15 minutes only. Okay? Thank you. Now, now, one thing I would like to mention is, I told you in the beginning that this angle 40 used to vary from 30 to 90. This is 40. Now, you increase it and make it 90. What happens? If you make this angle 90, what happens? X2, Y2 becomes perpendicular to this. Like this. X2, Y2 become perpendicular to this. And you can draw the elevation over there. You can draw the elevation over there. You will get a very interesting shape.
this will be the shape you get you will get a regular hexagon and this point this is a one dot g one dot the solid diagonal which is kept parallel to hp and 90 degrees to dp becomes a point it becomes a point in the elevation this is the shape of the elevation it's a regular hexagon this question also has come instead of 40 degrees 90 degrees instead of 40 degrees 90 degrees this question also has come this value as i said used to change from 30 degrees to 90 degrees Okay, thank you.